Next up is Blade Air Mobility. That's a SPAC deal. We don't like SPACs here, but this one closed in May. We don't like it because they lose money. But think of Blade as an Uber-style platform that lets you book helicopter and amphibious seaplane rides in areas where there tends to be a ton of traffic. They do a lot of business between New York City and the Hamptons or New York City uh, and its various airports and suburbs. Think of it as a very expensive service for, of course, rich people who are too impatient to drive from point A to point B. Honestly, of all the things you could burn money on, avoiding New York traffic actually seems pretty enticing to me. I've not used it. That might seem a little provincial, but they're setting uh, up intra-city routes in the Northeast, building a network on, on in Miami, Chicago, L.A., too. Longer-term, Blade likes to tell a story about electric vertical aircraft, which are more quiet than helicopters and thus can use more routes. Uh, it looks like something out of a science fiction movie, though. Now, when Blade Air Mobility started trading, the SPAC bubble had just burst, and the stock got crushed, sinking from nearly 20 bucks in February to 6 bucks and change in May. Since the deal closed, the stock's been stuck between 7 and 11. It's currently at 9 bucks and change after rallying hard over the past month. Now, Blade has some pretty impressive numbers. The revenue was up 277% in the most recent quarter and up 73% versus 2019, which is what really matters. They're nearly breaking even, too. For me, uh, the best part is the valuation. Right now, Blade has $645 million market cap. Get this, 645, okay, keep that in mind. Even though the company has $333 million in cash and short-term investments at the end of June. Basically, the business is valued a little more than 300, bucks, 300 million bucks here. I mean, which is what the analysts expect Blade to do in sales by 2024. Even if you use next year's estimates, it's trading only five times sales. Hmm. I think there could be real demand for the service in cities all over the country, even if you don't put much stock in electric ve vertical aircrafts. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Blade can work its way from nine to maybe the mid-teens in the not-too-distant future, which makes Blade Air Mobility a buy. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.